Good day everyone! Let's talk about observation and inference. What is the difference? Observation is the act of observing using the senses to gather the information about an object or event. You use your tongue to identify the taste of an object, your ears to identify loud or soft sound, your hands to identify texture of an object, whether smooth or rough, your eyes to see measurements of objects with the help of instruments like ruler, nose to identify the smell of an object. Now look at the pictures of fruits. Can you make an observation about it? You can say the fruits vary in color. The watermelon and orange are round. Pineapple is round. There are two methods of observation, quantitative observation and qualitative observation. Quantitative observation is a method of data analysis that measures the database under numerical and statistical attributes. Data can be counted or measured, such as weight, age, volume, length, height, scale. It could also be width or many more. Let's take a look at this example. The water is 100 degrees Celsius hot. You use thermometer to measure the temperature of the water. What sense is involved? It is seeing. You see that the thermometer reading is 100 degrees Celsius. Hence, the statement, the water is 100 degrees Celsius hot, is a quantitative observation. Another examples. Look at the picture again. Out of that, we can make quantitative observations like there are 50 sacks of rice. 25 out of 50 sacks of rice is NFA. 50% of the rice is NFA. But do you notice with these statements, they all have quantitative data. That's why they are quantitative observations. So when we say quantitative, these are the numerical, like 50, 25 out of 50, 50%. All of these are quantitative data. In qualitative observation, observation that does not involve measurements or numbers. It includes color, shapes, texture, and many more. Here is an example. Out of this picture, you can say there are plenty sacks of rice. The blue sacks of rice are NFA. But do you notice, in making a qualitative observation, you do not use any more numerical data. But these data are what we call textual data or non-numerical. look again at this image. So, out of this, we can make quality, qualitative observations like the water is boiling. It is hot. The pot is filled with water. The water is colorless. The water is odorless. The water is tasteless. So, what's the difference now between quantitative and qualitative observations? Using this Venn diagram, you can say that in quantitative observations, observations are made using instruments. Use numbers in describing variables. That's why we have numerical data and it allows us to test a hypothesis. For qualitative observations, observations are made using senses. Do not use numbers in describing variables non-numerical data or textual data and it allows us to explore more ideas and experiences. That's the difference. How about their similarities? Take a look at the center of the Venn diagram. So
Also, both quantitative and qualitative observations are important in the nature of science. They are both important in research. Let's talk about inference this time. Inference is a conclusion or opinion that is formed because of known facts or evidence. Prior knowledge or past experience is used to make judgment, conclusion, opinion. Senses are not used in forming judgment, conclusion, or opinion. Let's take a look at this example. The boy is perspiring because it is hot. You observe that the boy outdoor is perspiring. Since it is a sunny day, you conclude that it is hot because you know that it is hot during a sunny day. Another example, you observe that the plant is wilted. You conclude that it lacks water supply. So, for a better understanding, let us differentiate observation and inference using examples. We can say the leaves of the plants are color brown observation. Inference, the plant has not enough water. So based on your observation that the leaves of the plants are color brown, okay, you were able to formulate an inference that the plant has not enough water. Number two, the girls are wearing jackets. Based from this observation, you were able to make an inference that the girls are wearing jackets because it is cold. Number three, her test score is three out of ten. That is observation. So out of this observation, we can make an inference. Her test score is three out of ten because she did not understand the lesson. Activity time. So... Identify the statements, whether inference or observation. Number one, my pencil is 180 centimeters long. Observation or inference? The answer, observation. Why observation? Because you use your sense of sight to identify that the pencil measures 180 centimeters long with the use of an instrument known as a ruler. Number two, the boys are happy playing basketball. Inference or observation? The answer, inference. Why inference? Based on your experience, you know that playing a basketball is a happy activity. Since you observe that the boys are playing basketball, you can say that they are happy playing basketball. Hence, this statement is Number three, Peter ate all his food because he was hungry. Is this inference or observation? The answer, inference. Why inference? Because you know that even if our food is not yummy, once you are hungry and no other food to be eaten, you can eat all your food. Hence, this statement is